There's a fairly big debate in Christianity over Christmas. This debate is centered on the idea that Christmas was originally a pagan holiday and that Christians just hijacked it from the pagans. The debate itself is actually not what this video is about. This video is about how Christians should go about celebrating Christmas if they are convinced that they should. Most Christians know that Christmas, at least as it is portrayed today, is a celebration of when uh, the Son of God came to this earth in bodily form so that he could take away the sins of the world. Here's my concern, though. Christians often do not celebrate Chris Christmas as the birth of Jesus. For example, people begin getting into the holiday spirit, as it were, months in advance of Christmas, and it has nothing to do with the Son of God coming into the world. Rather than being about Jesus, it is all about the food, the cookies, the lights, the trees, the smells, the presents, and the list keeps going on. And even, even sometimes that includes, like, family. However, that isn't celebrating Jesus. That's celebrating all these other things that aren't Jesus. And it's only at the end, the very end, that most Christians have any form of, oh, hey, yeah, there's Jesus. We go to a, uh, like a Christmas Eve service, and we hear a message about Jesus, and that's about it. So for months, there is a celebration of the holiday season, the holiday spirit, and only a day or two of Jesus' actual birth being celebrated. Regardless of where you stand on the debate on whether or not Christmas is a pagan holiday originally that was just hijacked, I believe every Christian can recognize that this pattern is not good. Well, this is because even though even if there is no pagan influence on the origin of Christianity, it's almost completely secular today. When we talk about Christmas, it almost never has a focus on Jesus, which is what Christians are constantly saying that Christmas is all about. It's about Christ. And since even Christians are doing this, it's no wonder that the world itself is, like, doesn't even know it's about, about Christ. If you listen to kids' shows, if you listen, watch Christmas movies, it's all about family, being nice to one another, or helping others out. But it almost never has anything to do with Jesus himself. Thus, if you are a Christian who wants to celebrate Christmas, it's important that you actually focus on why you are celebrating Christmas. Namely, Jesus. He's the reason. What I'm not saying is that we need to abandon all of our traditions. Spending time with family is amazing. Giving gifts is amazing. Eating cookies is great. Those aren't bad things. But when those are the things that we think about when we say we're celebrating Christmas and not Christ's birth, those things have taken the place. They are now the celebration rather than Jesus. The emphasis needs to be on Jesus, his coming into the world originally, but also on the other side of things, there's his coming into the world uh, again. He is coming back and Christmas is a great time for us to prepare our hearts and minds for his second coming. One of the ways we could do this is by taking the Gospels, or one of the Gospels, and reading through it from beginning to end during this season. If you read one chapter a day and meditate on it, think on it that day, you're basically going to go from the beginning to the end by the end of, uh, end of December. And that's actually a great way of of focusing on Jesus during this this uh, Christmas season. Of the four Gospels, I personally would recommend Matthew or Luke as they have pretty extensive discussions on the birth of Jesus and they go all the way through. Mark and John don't have that same same amount of depth on the on the beginning side of things. 
Another option would be using, for example, an advent calendar or devotional. Uh, these can be great. They've typically been laid out, so you read one a day, you do it as a devotional. There's a great free one that Dallas Theological Seminary did um, that I'm, I'll link in the description below, so go ahead and check that out if you want to. Regardless, though, of how you choose to emphasize Jesus this season, I just hope that you do emphasize Jesus. That's what Christmas is about, regardless of the debate. Modern day Christmas is meant to celebrate the birth of Jesus. If you found this valuable, please consider liking and subscribing. Until next time, have a good one.